I was very much excited at this part. Um, I was really just doing this before I went to work and like I was really rushing. So I didn't really think about anything. So I just stuck with the normal method that I would usually use, which is like add the backing and then like cut little slits and then fold it and then glue it and stuff. But then it got like really messy. So I decided to slow this part down. Um, this is like two days later. I ordered some electric scissors and it literally just does the job perfectly so obviously like this is my first time using it and stuff so I was a bit like nervous that's why you see me going in like short little bursts and stuff but like I mean once I did the rest of them it was really just a thing of just like zzz, 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 like all the way around and so um like yeah this is what I'm doing now I'm just like slowing down the um clips here so you can see exactly what i'm doing because at the time of making this video there's not many videos on youtube showing you how to do the backing specifically it's always kind of like rushed towards the end and it's like oh this is the part that i really need to know about so um i'm taking my time here i've sped it up now because basically i've explained what i'm doing which is just like cutting around the edges um so i didn't i didn't fold them or anything so in the previous clip that you saw when i was applying the backing i did cut slits um i decided to like scrap that idea and just go straight with the electric scissors and cut as close as possible i got these little scissors now just to basically um make it look nice and neat because I was, again I was it was my first time using this electric scissors so I was a little bit scared and like stuff like that so I just got an extra smaller pair of scissors to just trim away and now I'm trimming the sort of like loose um, loops um, so these are the excess loops that were too large of a loop like you would see it in the video if you can if I can explain it but like yeah I'm just making it look nice um so this is basically the loop pile version when you like use the goat shears and um, the goat shears the sheep shears um when you're using a cut pile but obviously like with loops they're looped so you got to like snip the loop and then cut them down so that it's all nice and flat but again sped it up now so that um it's not too long <laughs> and then i just use a hoover to like get away with, like all the extra bits and then snip again hoover again until like I think it's looking nice and then um yeah I just use the hot glue gun and just like go around the edges just so that it doesn't fray and stuff um and, like I feel like this method is much better just because like you get as close to the edge but it's still very flat and like it's like secured in place um i just feel like it's easier to do but it looks nicer um i may go and change how i do the backing um i might add an anti-slip i was looking at a video earlier and talking about like anti-slips and stuff so i might incorporate that in my next video but right now i'm literally just doing something that i've only seen once but like never anywhere else so i use the iron because the corners are like coming inwards and it doesn't lay flat so basically I've just turned it the opposite way around so the design is on the bottom and then I use a towel and then just iron and press the folds outwards so that it lays flat so that makes sense um yeah so I just kind of like just do this for like some time um and just check it and see if it's okay and like flip it over and just like see if it's laying flat and stuff and then I think I go over it again yeah I think I go over it again just on the front and then just flatten that out so everything is just all nice and flat and neat so yeah I'm just gonna speed this up again <laughs> and um yeah I think that was pretty much it <laughs> like that was pretty much it that's the um part that i didn't see a lot of people doing but yeah i'm done now and these are the finished rugs so yeah these are actually christmas presents for my friends so if you like it 
um make sure you just like check out my links down below follow me on instagram and i've got a few videos here on screen now to just like have a look through um if you're interested in those but yeah make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace